Hey Miss Keegan, I have an Italian favorite with a vegetable that's coming on strong right now. We're going to use some tomatoes fresh from the farmer's market in our new bruschetta recipe. So I found today at the farmer's market here in Muskegon some ripe Roma tomatoes. And then I don't know what type of tomatoes these are. They're ripe and homegrown. That's all that matters. They're super sweet and they're looking really good. What I took was like four of these and I cut them into a small dice. And I'm going to add some onion. I'm using a sweet onion here. And again, this is gonna cut into a small dice. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice into this mixture. And if you ever have problems squeezing your lemons, get the juice out of there, uh, roll them on, the, on a, a surface or 15 seconds in the microwave before trying to squeeze them. Get that, all that juice out of there for you. And also when I squeeze my lemons, I try to keep a hand underneath so I can catch any of the pits that might come out. Good. Now we're going to take a clove of garlic and I'm going to cheat here and I'm going to use a garlic press. And I love the garlic press because it makes short work of, you know, otherwise being at the cutting board and mincing forever. So there we go. And now we're going to take some basil. And I have probably about seven leaves here and I've stacked them up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll them. Looks like something out of Cheech and Chong here. <laughs> and what you'll do is you'll just cut this like so. So if you ever heard of, um, you know, chiffonade basil, that's basically what we just did. I'm gonna throw that basil in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And then also we're gonna throw in some olive oil, some extra virgin olive oil. Maybe a tablespoon. And we're going to also add some balsamic vinegar. Just a little bit, maybe about a tablespoon of that. This will give it some sweetness and some tartness. I'm gonna stir that all up. And the Italians don't really add Parmesan cheese to their bruschetta, but I'm not Italian, I'm Dutch. Well, I'm American, but I, my ancestors are Dutch, so they didn't know any better. And this is how I make my bruschetta. We're gonna throw this on with some toast, and you just pack that on there, and you put it on a plate for me. I want a little bit more balsamic, and I'll take a balsamic reduction. And simply, to me that's like the chocolate syrup of the coatings out there, the vinegars. So I'll put some of that on there and it makes it really good. Otherwise, just serve it like so and enjoy.